Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And, um, you know, concerning Windows 11, there's a lot of questions that come with Windows 11. And um, I will answer what I've had seen quite often in the past few weeks and months. And also in the past couple of days, a lot of people have been uh, asking questions about Windows 11. And also the understanding of what uh, insider builds are because a lot of people have the impression that if they're adding new features, it's because it was not finished. And that notion does not exist anymore. Windows 11, like Windows 10, is still in the same Windows as a service type of update. So that's why you get builds like this that continue having new features. It's not because it's unfinished or because it was released too early but because they're going to continuously add features, add new things, and make updates to the system. It's Windows as a service. Unlike the past, Windows XP, Windows 7, um, Windows 8, the operating system in Windows, starting with Windows 10, changed and became something that is a work in progress, if you want, which is constantly being updated with some new things and some changes and so on, and new apps and apps that have refreshed. Um, where, you know, Windows XP, Windows 7, have, where you had a couple of service packs to kind of put it up to date with the latest technologies, but overall was pretty much always the same thing. So when Windows 7 was released, it was kind of the final version, and that's what you get, and that's pretty much what stays um, over time. In Windows 10 and 11, it is, you got Windows, and here you'll get annual updates and changes and new apps and all of that. Now, was Windows 11 uh, released too early? It was kind of really released early, yes. I, I will admit that because um, obviously there were quite a few things missing, quite a few things that just weren't right. Although the system was pretty much stable in general, um, there were there was that unfinished feel to it. So probably if they had waited a little more before releasing would have been a good idea. Especially when, you know, they announced features like, you know, the Windows subsystem for Android and stuff like that, that people just don't have and don't see and that it's barely coming now to the market so you get to a point where you're like wow so this really you know all of this wasn't really finished and um so this is something that um is you know always kind of i always kind of cringe when they announce big features that aren't there at the start which is kind of weird so it probably was rushed um, to some extent, absolutely, because um, and even when you think of the development phase from when we started hearing it to when it was released to, man, they must have not been working that long on it. And, and a lot of it was untested with insiders, which is kind of weird. You know, the, the old Windows 11 thing seemed to be a last minute decision of, OK, let's put together Windows 11 and ship those things. Um, after Windows 10 X was pretty much non-existent suddenly. Um, so because it's a work in progress, what you see in the new features and the builds, uh, like the build uh, 22579, and every time I talk about new builds, is not because it's unfinished or in really too early. It's really because it's a work in progress. We're adding things. We're adding features over time. And that annual update that we'll get at the end of the year will be an annual update that will add a lot of things to Windows 11. Um, if I had to pinpoint a moment in time when Windows 11 will be a work that is, um, once again, not finished because that's not the way it is, but more like something that will be... Um, a standard system that has the features that they talked about that we wanted. And, and of course, having also the changes of what people like and don't like and that famous start menu and everything. And, you know, changes that will actually make Windows 11 more of a um, system that feels right, that feels ready for prime time. 
Um, I think this is going to happen this fall. This fall, when that big update appears, that will be the Windows 11, I think, that people should go to at that time. That will be the moment where, okay, yeah, here, here we are now with a system that's that's worth it and, and ready for everyone. Um, and until then, of course, you know, uh, people that aren't really, that are happy with Windows 10, of course, I will, I will just say keep Windows 10. It's fine. Uh, but people that want to upgrade and aren't sure, I think that's the time where maybe it's going to be in a worthwhile upgrade when you get to that big update this fall in October or November of this year. So uh, this is to just put things straight. For, a lot of people have the impression that because there's builds, it means it's unfinished. And once again, it's a Windows as a service, which, yeah, uh, maybe for Windows, that's not the best of the ideas that uh, they had in the world. But uh, And, you know, they quieted down on that because if it would have continued like Windows 10 and we would have had like two updates a year and that would have been crazy. Um, at least now, one update a year, like pretty much every operating system is, is fine. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.